Uh, first of all, congratulations on the show, uh, season two. Uh, fantastic success the, the first season. It must feel fantastic that people have embraced the show, a show that you've, you've helped create and that the audiences have, have spoken and you've got a season two. That must, that must have, you must have such a great feeling, the fact that they've... We knew it was going to happen. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you even suggest that we were going to have a Dutch show? How could you? I can't believe it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> now we've got... Now, now it's, it's, it is amazing. It's amazing. It's vindication. Um, yeah. We spent a lot of time trying to get that show done. Mm. You know, we spent a lot of time wanting to, uh, you know, work together and put our powers together. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's just validated the whole, you know, what we, we knew could happen. Uh, we didn't know the extent of it, and it's been amazing. I think it exceeded our expectations slightly yeah, yeah. with like how many people love it. But yeah, definitely, we're really proud of it. Really proud. I think I read it was like 1.7 million people were watching it or something like that, which is in this day and age is, is a lot of people. Considering I think it, 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 the, the, when the consolidate is above two, mm. when the consolidation comes in, it's above two. You know, someone's nodding behind you. They're getting. It's above two. It's yeah. above two. It's above two. I dare you, 1.7. <laughs> I dare you. I can't believe it. It's a bad start for me. Yeah, I dare you, mate. Not expect a morse, mate. You know, <laughs> bulletproof. I mean, but what was the kind of the genesis of you guys wanting to, to tell, to work together, but also to tell this particular story? Because we've had cop shows and like this before, but yours has a lot more going for it than there's there's no a lot cop of shows. Like, there's no cop show. Like, where do you find this fella? <laughs> where did you guys find this fella? Give us an example. <laughs> yeah. Give us an what? The bill. Yeah, the bill. Lewis. The bill. The bill. Huh? Not the bill. Juliet no, Bravo. The bill was, bill was good. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. in terms of like uh, le your movies, maybe Lethal Weapon and Bad Boys, that yeah, kind but, of thing. But, but they're all American. That's what I mean. Yeah, we same. haven't had a British one like this for yeah. for a long time. I mean, why was it that you wanted to tell that particular story and tell it from a British? I think because we, I think, well, there's a few reasons. For me, per person, it was because I, I grew up in those, those sort of shows. So we were never, as kids, we were more interested in what was going on in the States, in, in US TV, in US cinema. Um, so it's just kind of, it's been a part of our lives, do you know what I mean? And yeah, because um, there wasn't anything that related to us, really. Yeah. There you wasn't know. anything that really related to what we wanted to be, Yeah, yeah, no, there was be. nothing here that we could compare oh, I, it to. I want to be that. Whereas now what we're doing is young kids of, working class status, young kids of colour can be like, I want to be like that. Mm. Well, we didn't have that. So it was it was important to, you know, as Ashley said, he was a fan of Bad Boys, so was I, Lethal Weapon. When we came together, we wanted to do something unashamedly entertaining. You know, like we didn't want to make an earnest cop show that had to arguably has been done many times before. We wanted to make something that felt more international in its feel but could be done from here. And I think we wanted to be the two leads because that's, again, something that we'd never seen. You know, never, ever. Even in America, it's only been done a few times. You know, Bad Boy has probably been the biggest example, you know, yeah. of, of a movie. But it's not often that you see two, it's, well, you never see two black police officers. It's not often you see two black lead characters, yeah. full stop, let alone two black police officers. And I thought, we thought that it would be something that would resonate. And I think it does, it just captures our audience because you know, it's people that kind of go, man, I could, I could do that. Mm. I could be that. Yeah. You know. And obviously, I mean, in 2019, we're still talking, as you say, talking about the un unrepresented parts of the culture, particularly in London. And yeah. you've made your movies, and obviously, you're part of Top Boy. How important do you think these stories are in 2019? Because the kind of economic and political landscape as it is right now is kind of, it's very, very strained in many ways. But you're you're telling stories that people are embracing because, as you say, they feel. Presented. It must be hugely important for you guys to tell stories like that. Massively important because that's where we, that's where we're from, mm. you know. And I think that you know, people kind of don't realise. I feel like if I can say this, you know, there's always going to be someone who's like, oh, there's arrogance, or whatever. But people don't realise what we're actually achieving here. You know what I mean? Because actually, you know, when we were coming up in this business, if I got a job, he weren't eating for six months. If he got a job, I wasn't eating for six months. Like, there was one person was getting a job, and it was usually he or I. Other people scarped off to America or, or just gave up. And that's the kind of way it was, you know. But now, there's an abundance of black actors, and that's due to a part, in fact, to a lot of the stuff that he and I have done. And I feel like, you know, it was definitely something that we, we wanted to tell stories that were relatable to us because when I grew up I didn't see anything like that I didn't see anything I was inspired by Boys in the Hood I was inspired by kids by Lahaine 
by by you know Todd Solange movies, mm. stuff like that, because actually Le uh, Kevin Smith just in dialogue and snappy dialogue mm. and stuff like that, because we didn't have that here. We had a boy in his fucking eagle on his old on his shoulder, which is a classic. But you know what? I couldn't care because actually it didn't relate to me in any way, shape, or form. You know what I mean? Mm. I choked that little bird. I <laughs> choked it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. RSPCA. I am joking. I would not hurt a hawk or whatever it was. Um, it must be great to go back for a second season because in the season two, in most shows you get to kind of explore the characters a bit more. You get to dive into their kind of mythology and their psychosis a bit more. Was that good going back for a season two? Because it's, it's, as you say, in terms of that, TV sometimes you don't get to go back for a season two. It must yeah. be great to go back and, and kind of expand on what you've, what you've done before. Yeah, well, we, I mean, we don't assume at the end of one. Like, it ends very definitely. We do the car spin. It's a beautiful moment between the two guys and we're like, boom, we don't like leave any cliffhangers because we didn't want to... We didn't want to be that show that assumed that we were getting a season two, even though we, we were hoping and were quite confident we, that we would. Um, and I think you do get to know the characters a little bit more and you do delve into them a little bit more and find out what makes them tick. And, um, you know, them going undercover really stresses their relationships that they have outside of work and sort of their relationship in work. So it, it, was, it was important, I think. Uh, you guys obviously made, made some movies as well, but TV is such a vast thing these days and you can, you can tell a lot more stories and kind of get quote unquote green lights for stuff on TV that maybe you wouldn't in films. Are you enjoying the fact that you can go onto TV and kind of pitch ideas that maybe you wouldn't be able to do um, in feature films or even get kind of financing for and that TV kind of gives you a bit more leeway to, mm -hmm. to maybe tell something like this and like, as I say, like Top Boy and all those, all those things that maybe in terms of if you'd have pitched it as a film, it might not have... It gives you, I don't think it does give you more leeway. Actually, I think, I think you have more, I'll tell you what it does, do, it gives you more time. Mm. It gives you more time to really explore the characters and really get under the skin, because obviously the film is bookended, right? In your 90 minutes, your 120 minutes. But it doesn't necessarily give you, in films I do what I like. Mm. In films I'm like, he's gonna do this, character's doing that, and that's happening. In TV, you have to still be at the beset of the, the broadcaster and the board and of course the audience. Um, Mm. which is important and they, there can be things that they go oh no you, you, you can't do that whereas in film that just can't happen you do whatever you like but it definitely gives you a lot more time and a lot more freedom in terms of exp taking time to explore relationships which is I think the beautiful thing about TV now where most people are gravitating towards it is because actually who wants to see a character development in 90 minutes when actually you can see it over 10 hours and really feel it and understand the choices that they make do you know what I mean? Uh, I think that's that's where it is. Which How much is do you guys get to do of the the stunts? Because you start season two with a with a massive bang, with loads, with a with a foot chase and a car chase. How much of that do you guys get to do? And do you, as actors, want to do as much as you can in terms of the stunts and the stunt driving? I mean, do you do you enjoy doing that side of of it as well? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> How so much did you get to do of the of the no, driving stuff? We do quite a bit, to be honest. Mm. I mean, anything we can do, we do. There will be things that we're, we're not allowed to do for insurance purposes and are just too dangerous, but anything we can do, we do. And um, in, this, in this season, I'd say we had a bit, we had a bit less to do stunt-wise yeah. than we did in, in the last season, but there's a lot more stunts, a lot bigger stunts in this season as well. I just read as well that you guys have been picked up for a, a three-part or four-part special. Yeah, three-part, Which yeah. is fantastic. Is that something that you are going to use as a tool to kind of do something slightly different? Because you've got three episodes to maybe do, you know, in the old days they'd do a special where they'd take, I don't know, Hawaii Five-O and put it somewhere else or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly what happens. We're in South Africa. Fantastic. Yeah, so it, it's essentially that the, the characters are kind of on, on holiday and something kicks off and by the very nature of who they are, they try and help out, but it draws them into something that lasts the three, the three episodes. So it is like, it is a special, it literally is like these two characters now in a different country, dealing with things, how they deal with things. Yeah. You know. Is there a season three on the horizon for this? And also I wanted to ask you about Top Boy, because I spoke to you at the, the premiere for season three and you also did you? Yeah, yeah, I did, oh, yeah. I'm so memorable. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> cool. uh, about how, you know, it went from season one to season two and then you struggled to get to season three and now you've got season three on mm. Netflix. You've got a kind of different platform and stuff. Are you looking for, hopefully going to do another one of that? Are you hopeful that you get to tell hopefully, some more stories? Uh, yeah, hopefully. I mean, there was, you know, there will come a point where I don't want to continue doing these shows. <laughs> Even Bulletproof, to be honest, you know, because we don't want, we're not about 
kind of trying to extend its life to keep money in our pocket and, you know what I mean, or whatever. As soon as the people don't want it anymore, we feel like it's, you know, there's, it, there's no need for it and we won't do it. But I'm really, other than that, I'm, I'm you know, I'm happy to, to go again when they're ready. It's just the, the scripts have got to be right, that's all. Yeah, and a season three for this, I guess, is after the special. You, fingers crossed you'll get to yeah, do Yeah, I mean, that, that, would be, that would be hopefully the plan. I mean, that's, that's always at the, at, the, uh, at the networks, as they call it in America, at the broadcasters, you know, behest you know their their choice but hopefully you know they see the value in the show they see the value that, that we bring they see the audience you know because that's what it comes down to if we've got no numbers then we wouldn't be here right there's numbers there's numbers behind it people want to watch it and i think hopefully after the specials you know they'll they'll go for well actually they would have had to have by the time the specials air we would probably know if we're doing three they would have to decide because the process of it all takes a while so we would probably know so hopefully we would get that but again we never assume we just want to all we do is deliver the best we can deliver on the season we're doing and know that if that ended there that we did the best we could do that's that's what we're interested in like we don't go into going and then we're going to plan this then we're going to plan that it's like let's tell that story let's smash that story and hopefully people want more fantastic well, guys it's a pleasure to talk to you as always thank, thank you so much cheers thank you so much thank you for your time cheers. Cheers. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.